<laughs> Excellent. Welcome, everybody. It is our Wednesday, a first Wednesday of every month. We do this incredible TLS Zoom. So welcome, everybody. My name is Melanie Nelson. I'm the director of TLS. And with me is our director of training in TLS, Suzanne. And many of you know her because you've been around and she's been around. She's our registered dietitian, our certified diabetes educator, uh, TLS certified trainer. Uh, this lady is amazing. And she has been around in the health industry for 18 years. So she knows her stuff. Our special guest tonight, you guys, very excited to have her. She uh, has made a massive transformation and has been real and transparent and sharing that um, with the world and has inspired other people to make their own transformations. Um, it has just been such an honor and such a pleasure. I'm so grateful to uh, have met her and to have been a part of this uh, very small part of this journey uh, of, of hers. And she's a wife. She's a mom. She's got two of the cutest little kids ever. She's an author. She's a business owner. She's a TLS certified coach, and she has lost 218 pounds to date. And it is pretty amazing to have her. So please welcome, and the wild, uh, crowd goes wild, Erin McMichael. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for having me on here. I love you guys so much. I love my TLS family. Yeah, definitely. We're excited to have you. There is a lot to share tonight. We're going to be talking about what it takes to make healthy habits, what it takes to build health, healthy habits. We are creatures of habit, aren't we? And so there's just as much quote unquote effort into creating a bad habit as there is a good one, right? So yep. we might as well uh, focus on building some good, healthy habits. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Because honestly, the reason I asked Aaron to be here is because I really feel like there's no one better to really talk about this than, than Erin, because she's really had to change a lot of her habits um, in order to achieve what she's achieved. So she really has that insight uh, that, that is really invaluable to this topic. So I'm so glad you're here, Erin. And I'd love for you to share um, a little bit about your story and, you know, just really what it, how it's been for you and, and, you know, just share with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So I am Erin. I live in Kansas City, Missouri. Go Chiefs. I have to say that. Um, and I have <laughs> lost 218 pounds naturally with TLS in three years, three months, and three days. I want to make sure I tell you how long it took me <laughs> because I want to I want to go ahead and break the stigma that it's supposed to happen super fast and super amazing. Okay. Um, but so I basically, if I had to just summarize my story, of what happened to get me to a place where I had 218 pounds to lose. It was that I was not living my life. I was existing in my life. I got to a place where I was hiding behind everything and everyone in my life, making sure everyone else had everything that they needed, but I didn't have anything I needed. I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, I was a traditional business owner, extremely stressed, two very small young children, um, and our business was struggling and we were in the worst season of our entire lives. And during that season, and honestly, it lasted several years. Um, I completely let myself go. Um, I, I completely let go of any hopes, any dreams. And I, I mean, long story short, I had to watch my dream die. My husband and I had to watch our dream die. We had a funeral basically for our dreams, like, bye. <laughs> and it was very upsetting and it was very it took a huge hit on me as a human and him as a human and our self-confidence and everything. And we built ourselves into a self-made prison of obesity. Basically all of our habits every day were awful and it equaled that in the, in the long run. Um, and I actually, when I hit my, the lowest point, my daughter was three and my son was one and I was 402 pounds and I was in my favorite store which was a, a store for plus size women. Um, and I could not fit in anything in the store. And the poor little girl had to come and tell me that there was nothing in the store to fit me. And I sobbed the whole way home. I could put myself back in that dressing room and feel exactly how I felt because I was done. I was done feeling the way I felt. I had tried 
to lose weight. I, I, I had tried, I had, but I failed every time. I tried eight times and failed on, on, in my life. I've tried eight times to lose weight and failed. I tried one time and did it. Which one do you think matters to me? The eight times I failed or the one time I did it and actually did it, right? But you guys, I hit a place where I was done with it. I was done with my excuses. I was done with my lifestyle. I was done with the, the junk I was eating and the things I was believing and the things every single day that were adding up to me, honestly, on the way just to an early grave or something, you know? And, and so I looked at my children in the rear view mirror and I'm like, I will never feel this way again. And I made a commitment to myself. I remembered a friend told me about this, this program and, and I tried a couple other things and everything felt so crazy and restrictive. And that's the worst place to be when you're trying to lose weight is a place where they want to take everything away from you. It's the worst place to be. And so um, she told me about this and was like, try it out, give it a shot, if, you know, whatever. So I made a commitment to myself that I was really going to do it this time. I was really going to do it and I was going to start. And I asked myself the question, what if this time, Erin, you don't give up? If no matter what, you, you, can, you can take a break, you can slow down, whatever. But what if you don't quit? What if you just keep going until you get all your weight off? And that's what I did with TLS. I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I didn't stop anymore. I didn't stop anymore. Um, I didn't have those breaks where I'd fall off because I didn't have the accountability. I didn't have those breaks where I would, you'd never hear from me again. And I'm starting a weight loss journey. And then where'd Erin go? Nowhere. She quit. No, she didn't quit. She didn't quit. So this time I made the commitment to myself. I wasn't going to quit. I had the support. I had the accountability. I had the knowledge and education. I had everything I needed to be successful. And I have been. And I, I absolutely love this. It's changed my life. It's changed my family's life. And it's something that I can never, ever, ever, ever be more grateful for. Absolutely. Um, so to date, um, I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old now. I can run faster than both of them. Um, I am riding the scooter. I am rollerblading with them. I am jumping off the high dive with them. I'm zip lining with them. I'm riding roller coasters with them. I am living my life. I'm not existing anymore. So that's amazing. So I, I'm hoping everybody can see my screen because here's a little bit of, of some pictures from Erin and her Instagram account. And like I said, she's been sharing this journey. Um, I mean, really this entire time, you know, this three year and three month journey. Um, and, and it's just been really, really inspiring to uh, have her share, you know, the, the ups, the downs, uh, and just everything that she is, has gone through to, to get where she's going. And, and one of your themes definitely is what if this time you didn't give up? So I love that. Um, I do have to go back to um, this particular slide <laughs> as, um, you know, for, for, uh, legal purposes, obviously we definitely want everyone to consult a healthcare provider before starting any weight management product or exercise or program. Uh, everything we talk about today has not been evaluated by the FDA and, um, you know, individual results will vary as we are all unique individuals. Um, and you could expect to lose one to two pounds a week with TLS. And so we're really talking about, again, coming back to this, achieving your healthy weight by building healthy habits. Uh, this is, you know, oftentimes not something that ho happens overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and stop share and come back to this discussion here, because I feel like there's a couple things that need to happen to start creating healthy habits. Um, you know, so Zan, what do, what do you feel is absolutely necessary for people to start changing habits? Well, I think number one is the decision to make that decision. I think the fact that as you can see, Aaron decided that enough is enough. That was a, a pivotal point, that decision right there. And you know, what well, this time I didn't give up. It's such, so powerful. Like even when you say it to yourself, how powerful is that? For those people who are watching today, really ask yourself, what well, this time you didn't give up? What will your future be like? So for me, um, myself is in terms of not only the decision. So for me was how I have never been a morning person. I'm a very classic where I work really late in the night. Just, just the way it is. And when I have my kids, I knew that to maintain that healthy habit, I need to switch. That was, and second thing is 
they, you know, they always say that you cannot take care of someone if you cannot take care of yourself. That's where the self love is. And I know that if I don't take care of myself, I will not be 100% mom to my kids and not be a role model. So I decided that, okay, I asked myself, what is the time I'm ready to make those changes because I cannot make my kids my excuse for not taking care of myself. And that point I was like, okay, what day of the time or what time of the day that is no one can interrupt me. I have no reason and no excuse not to do it. And my only answer is what I'm afraid of, which is morning <laughs> because I'm not a morning person. But when I make that decision and when I'm looking at my kids and I know that self-care is so important, I switch it and I decide it's going to be morning. I need to have a morning routine. And from then I built my morning routine and what a great change. I never thought I would ever say it, but I love my morning routine. I fell in love with my morning routine. It makes such a, diff a big difference for me to take care of myself, but also really make the rest of the day so much easier because I got that first part of my day done already. Absolutely. Uh, it's a decision. I think it's also a decision that's typically um, grounded in a reason why. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I feel like there's, Erin, you had that devastating irritation moment of just enough is enough. Um, and then I think a lot of people who have seen you or heard you speak, Erin, have what I call a motivating moment. So they're like, she can do this. Look what she's done. I can do this. Right. And they have this. And, and so whether it's an irritation moment or a motivation moment, I feel like that's a big um, reason or, or, or catalyst for making those changes. Any time that I have tried to do something because I think I should, it hasn't really worked out. <laughs> right. Yeah. But when I have had a motivation moment or I've had an irritation moment, um, those changes happen really quickly. Right. And we're not struggling through those changes. At least I, I don't feel like I struggle through the, making yeah. those changes and those changes to my habits nearly as much. So Aaron, what do you feel creating healthy habits starts with? So for me, the creating the healthy habits had to start with recognizing my bad ones. It, I had to look at, oh, I had to kind of put myself through a strainer and see what was holding me back. And honestly, have anyone seen that meme where they're looking, it's like a lion looking at itself in the mirror, all ugly. Like when you realize the person that's holding you back or you find the person, it's you. That was me. Like I'm holding myself back with my mindset, my habits and the things I'm doing every single day. And so it's taking an overview of what you're doing every single day. Because if you really think about it, your weight loss journey, your, the success of it is going to be found in the things you do every single day. The things that you do consistently every single day. That's the most important word right there. But looking at those, like, okay, I know this isn't a good habit, not meal planning, meal prepping, not taking care of myself, not drinking water, all that. You know your bad habits. So we need to recognize them so that we can slowly start replacing them with good habits, slowly start changing them into things that no longer serve us. Like if your daily habits are not going to equal the up to goals like that you have for yourself, they have to stop. Like addition, plus, 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 plus are your daily habits. If you've got too many subtractions in there, you guys, like we can't be in a, in a habit deficit. We have to have more pluses every day in our habits, the negatives. So focus on that of, of what am I not doing that I want to do? What are some things about me and my daily habits that I don't like that, that correlate with my health? Once we recognize what the habits are and that they're holding us back, again, we can slowly start changing them. It's not a fast, crazy, take everything away. It's a slow process into I'm going to do better for myself than I did yesterday. Yeah, definitely. So I, I really feel like it's like that willingness to take a look at ourselves. And, and that requires an open mind and a willingness to, to change, a willingness to grow, um, a willingness to change our mindset on certain things. Right. And I, and I think of when I say mindset is, you know, I come back to Suzanne going, well, I'm not a morning person. So that's a mindset. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and so the more that you say something like that, the more that becomes uh, cemented in. So Suzanne yeah. would have to have changed that and saying, yeah. no, now I am a morning, a morning person. person. 
right? And so I feel like, Karen, chances are you had to do that with, you know, a lot of different um, things throughout your journey, just like we all have to, to reach a goal, any goal, whatever that goal is, is to take a look at what is, you know, moving us towards that goal and what is moving us away from that goal. And that can sometimes be difficult, you know, to, to feel like, you know, we're not yeah. doing things right. Right. The, the human brain wants to be right. Yeah. I know. And so, it's hard to be honest. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to be honest. So what was one of the ways that you feel really helped you identify the things that were, you know, I mean, I know you do have some health background in the sense of your education. So that definitely probably helped you identify some habits, but was there any yeah. other strategies that you utilize to help identify like, Hey, you know what? that thing I'm doing unconsciously isn't really working for me? Yes, absolutely. Um, I call it stop giving in to your own BS. That's what I like to call it. And it is, it is getting, I'm serious. It's getting really good at calling yourself out on your crap. And we all know what our crap is. We all know whether it's your $8 Starbucks drinks that are 1800 calories, or if it's your secret drive through meetings with yourself, if it's your, you know, you're hiding something, whatever, we all know what it is. So it's, you, you get really good at not letting it slip through because you guys, like you're a garden, any seeds that are planted are going to grow. If you are planting seeds of hiding food, you are planting seeds of shame eating. If you are planting seeds of all that, it's going to grow and it's just going to outpour on you. Don't put that in your journey. You want to shine your light on every lie. You want to shine your light on any mindset. You want to shine your light on anything that is going to hold you back on your journey. And you have to get really good at it. Like when you know you're talking yourself out of going to the gym, who doesn't do this sometimes? Let's be honest, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you have to say, so I had a hard day today. So that means I get to give myself permission to not take care of myself today. Really girls? No, we don't get to not take care of ourselves because we had a hard day. It should be. I want to take care of myself more because I had a hard day. Seeing my workout is a self care thing I get to do for me instead of what diet culture has made it. And it's an unattainable mess. You know, like it is an easy, simple process that is literally science-based. You guys, we're making it too complicated. We're making it too complicated. Um, So yes, like being really good at calling it out in yourself, even if you have to give other people permission to call those behaviors out in you. Ask me how many times I have to have my husband anytime going to the kitchen. He asks me where I'm going. That's a thing. Like anytime I'm in the kitchen, babe, ask me where I'm going, what I'm doing. I want him, I want someone to call me out in case I'm going to do something bad. So give those people permission to speak into your life of calling you out on things that are going to set you back people that love you and give yourself permission as well, because you want to grow. And this is the only way you can is by mm-hmm. realizing where your hold held up and changing it. Yeah, absolutely. I, th- I really okay. feel like this is where TLS excels because education yes. is a huge pillar of what we do. And yeah. that is also one of the ways that we become aware, like, oh, I didn't know that was bad for me. Like I grew up on yeah. Captain Crunch and Mac and cheese and grilled yeah. cheese sandwiches. And I didn't know any of that was bad for me until right. I had the education and went, oh, you know, I'm, I'm on my way to a really ugly place if I continue this lifestyle. So that's where we really excel. I feel like with our TLS coaches, with our TLS journal and health guide, our, our, um, these types of zooms, everything we're doing in TLS is really education based. And that's, that's where I, I think too, is such a great strategy for becoming aware of the habits that aren't serving us. As you said, so vividly is taking yourself through a strainer of like, what's good, what's not. And I, and I, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little hesitant to say good and bad yeah, because yeah. it's, a, it's yep. a judgment and it's more just like what serves me and what doesn't. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Support your so, goals. What support yeah, your goals? Exactly. Um, so Zian, so what does creating a healthy habit require? Like require. I am a, um, I'm definitely a very planner. I, I love to plan. Planning keep me grounded. Planning keep me feeling like, okay, I can do it. So for me, with planning and prep, and Erin was saying about uh, food prep and everything, I am a big fan of that because as you all know, I'm very, very busy and with the corporate job and me as a dietitian and being a mom of two kids, it can be get very overwhelming. So 
I mentioned many times in the past when I did the Zoom, uh, uh, when we did these Zoom uh, calls, is that my Sunday is my Sunday ritual. It's planning and food prepping. I yep. need that. If I don't have that Sunday taken away from me, my rest of the week, I can see it so easily fall off track and so easy to call, um, like to call takeout because there's no food at home. So the only solution is we order takeout. And to avoid that, it's food planning. So for me, it was planning and really sitting down and really map things out. I think when you mindfully map it out, then then the mapping out worked on taking the action because I'm I, I, I need to see it on paper. Then I will do the part of the food prep on the Sunday night. So I knew going on Monday, I'm good. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready to take on my week. So that was very, very helpful for me. Yeah. So, I mean, the decision comes first. Yeah. The planning comes second. Yes. You know, and you need both, right? Yeah. And, the, and that's why we're talking about what um, healthy habits start with and then now what they require. Erin, what do you feel like they require? Consistency. <laughs> Consistency. Consistency. It requires repeating a productive behavior over and over and over and over and over again until it becomes who you are. And that looks like feeding yourself well, moving your body, watering yourself, taking care of yourself, repeating that productive behavior over and over and over again. Um, consistency of doing what you say you're going to do also. A lot of times we start our journeys um, from a place where may, we might have not completed it the first time or second time or eighth time like me. Maybe we're coming from a place where we have a lot of failure behind us. How do you think your self-trust is going to be starting a weight loss journey from that position in your mind and with your habits? Like you're already going to be setting yourself up in a mindset and your habits of like, I'm not going to be able to do this. So when you consistently are building those good habits and building on those good habits, you start consistently do like, but you, you start consistently doing the things that you say you're going to do. And this is what builds trust more than anything is when you are consistently feeding yourself well, when you're consistently moving yourself, your body and you're, you're consistently drinking your water and loving yourself when you're consistently changing those things. Um, that self-trust is going to build. And once that starts getting fanned in you that I trust myself to do the things I say I'm going to do because I consistently show myself I can be trusted with my goals, that's where your success is going to come. For sure. Well, and it's yeah. so easy to take that action when you're motivated and so easy to take that action when you're irritated and you say enough is enough, but consistency comes in when you don't feel like yeah. doing it, when it's inconvenient, when yeah. it's hard, when, you know, everything is going to, you know what, and you know, it just, it would be so easy to let everything go. That's when consistency is even more important. That's where that trust you're talking about, Aaron, is built. Yeah. Because that's when it's so easy to just say, oh, you know what, I'll pick it up tomorrow. No, 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 no. Right. In order to build that habit, it has to be done even when it's hard. No matter what, yes. it's discipline over motivation. You got to be disciplined, disciplined. Yeah. I do what I say I'm going to do no matter what. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you set your own goals. You set your own goals and you set them in a way that you know you're going to meet them so that you can start building that self-trust with a little challenge every day. And you will start seeing so many results coming in. That's actually a really powerful point, Erin. I want you to expand on that because I think a lot of times we want something that might be a little bit unrealistic in a time yeah. frame that's unrealistic or you know, that we're going to be perfect through this journey, or like, there's just some sort of unrealistic measurement that's happening in our own mind and heart. Oh, yeah. And so you say, <laughs> you saying, make goals that are realistic so that you can hit them yep. so that you build the trust. Yes. You are literally manipulating yourself. It is literally, you know, okay. So think about your journey. Think about anyone on here. That's been on, a, that's been overweight like me. Okay. Or anyone who feels like they um, need to lose weight or whatever, um, get to that place in your mind where you are getting ready to start your journey, right? You're getting ready to start your journey. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, um, I just lost my train of thought. You, you guys, <laughs> what, give it back to me. The, what's the, um, 
easiest thing they can do or, or how can they realistic start? expectations yes, i'm yes. so sorry realistic it just stuff. flew right by on a on a car that flew by <laughs> realistic <laughs> expectations you cannot come out of this journey when you're starting it guys like when you're coming out of the races as like the crossfit athlete you want to be at the very end you have to come at it as the person that is watching me talk right now the person sitting in front of you right now did not do this the 402 pound person did this she did this. She died to herself. She changed her habits. She changed her mindset. She stayed on the program. She didn't quit. She did this. I didn't set my expectations to as, as this person now, because first, honestly, I didn't know this was possible. Let's be honest. I had no idea I could get this weight off. I just was hoping that I could get it, get as close as I could. But um, this person didn't do it. If I would have set my goals as this is where I'm aiming for y'all, it would have been the most overwhelming thing. I can look back and I can be, when I sat down and actually calculated how much weight I needed to lose and it was 200 pounds. Can you guys go there with me for a second? Imagine that freaking mountain. Imagine that hopelessness. Imagine that I might as well just stay how I am. If you're listening to me right now and this is your story or this is something like that, you don't. You have the power within you to change your life. Do you know how I know? Because I am a poor white girl from a trailer park that never had anything, that never had hardly any education, anything like that. I learned everything I learned about, about nutrition doing this, doing this. I am a completely different person going through this process because it makes you take your health in your own hands. It makes you responsible for your life and your journey. It makes you pay attention to your food. It makes you pay attention to your movement and it puts it on you. It makes you care about yourself. So when you're setting your goals, set them as the person you are now so that you can hit them, so that you can hit them because it doesn't matter if your goals for today are walk five minutes, eat six carrots and drink four cups of water, baby. If it's better than you did yesterday. Yeah good for you because it's the little things that add up. It's going to be, I'm telling you right now, ask me how many times I gained weight on my journey every week. Ask me how many times I lost The The gain is always bigger. I tell people all the time, the little ounces, the little pounds, they add up. Who goes to Dollar Tree for three things, comes out with 60 bucks. That's what your, that's what your weight's supposed to look like, right? That's what it's supposed to look like. Set realistic goals for who you are in your current place in your current place and give yourself room to succeed and every single day you're going to meet your goals and every single day you're going to build that trust and every single day you're going to love that feeling that you're taking care of you you're doing what you need to do for you and you're going to fall in love with yourself and you're going to want everything in your life better that is what you need that's where we're going that is why we set the real realistic goals that we know we can hit build self-trust we can act and we can actually make these happen. I was going through my journey looking for people who had done what I had needed to do so that I could have some kind of roadmap to follow. There aren't many, there aren't many that have done it naturally. There's a lot that had the surgery and that's wonderful, but I wanted to do my journey and chose to do my journey naturally. I had the option to do surgery. I chose to do it naturally. I wanted to, because I wanted to learn the lessons along the way. Um, so I, I, that's what I did. So that's what I did. Um, but start it as you are and keep going and grow as you are little challenges every day. If you only drank 20 ounces of water yesterday, drink 30 today. You know what I'm saying? Little by little by little, by the end of six months, you guys, your life's going to look so much different little by little, not nothing extreme, nothing crazy. Yeah. Wow. So amazing. Erin. Everybody's loving this. They're just, this. they're chatting in. They're just loving yeah. it. We're loving it. You're making me cry. Oh, yay. Um, so healthy habits start with a reason why a decision, a willingness to grow, learn, change, you know, um, and, and, and then they require planning consistency and discipline. And I just want to add to that really quickly, a lot of self-love and forgiveness. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, lots <laughs> lots yeah. of self-love, you know, it's so easy to beat ourselves up. Um, it's so easy to talk down to ourselves. Um, and that's one shift that I would say was a huge part of my journey was learning to edify myself, was learning to um, 
speak life into myself. I, you know, I am powerful. I am fit. I am, I do have healthy habits rather than, you know, saying things that were negative about myself, like, oh, I'm such a failure. I screwed up again today, you know, um, these types of things. And so, uh, you know, I feel like that self-love and self-forgiveness through the journey is another thing that creating these healthy habits requires. And I know I always say it, it's progress over perfection, right? We're not, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking to strive for a little bit of progress every day. Um, and that should never end. You know what I'm saying? Like, when does that ever end? It should just never end. You should always be wanting to better yourself and your surroundings and your environment. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're working 1% better every, your goal was just 1% better than yesterday. 1% better than yesterday. And before you know it, you're so much better. And, and, and it's go back to the consistency, just being consistent on that. I know it's so crazy. Like one degree between, um, not boiling water and boiling yep. water. I love that. So I one, love. one degree, a difference between liquid and ice. Yeah. You know, I mean, just one degree, you guys, that's it. And yeah. it's like change, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and so that self-love and forgiveness and that attitude of progress is it creates. So, so now let's talk about more of, more of these strategies, these strategies to really put these healthy habits into place, because the truth is, is we all kind of have an idea as to what we need to do or what we need to stop doing or, you know, things like that, especially been around TLS a while. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it works when you work it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, the strategies in place to make sure those healthy habits um, are in place and stay in place. So Zan, what is one of the strategies you've used? So I, again, I'm a big planner. I like to plan things. So I like to, like I said before, to change to the morning routine, I knew I need to make it so easy that I have no excuse. So how I did it was, I did two things. Number one was I have, to, I told my, I told myself, you wake up, if you don't have enough time. All I need, I tell myself, talk to myself, all I need was five minutes for you to move your body. I usually work out more than five minutes, but I told five minutes it's because I want it to be no excuse. I yep. said five minutes. So this way, when I see the 10 minute, I still have that five minute to work out. And if I, because I knew five minutes was not enough to put on a sweat. So I don't need to shower and I can still get ready. So I, I was saying five minutes, that's number one. But the second thing was to, again, make it as no excuse, everything go back to no excuse, because I think as human, it's so easy to choose, to choose a reason and a lot of time is excuses, right? So I like to kind of make decision a- ahead of time. I, you know, the whole no uh, no decision fatigue. So really why I did was uh, when I started this whole routine was I put my workout clothes right beside the sink. So the first thing when I wake up and go to my bathroom, I see the workout clothes, a reminder, hey, you're working out. And the second thing is I set up my workout room ready for workout the night before. So I have my mat all laid out I even choose the type of exercise that I will be doing the next day. So I have it all laid out, water, everything done. So literally all I have to do is wake up, change, maybe pee, <laughs> change, then go straight to the room and start working out. So I find that that helps so much because there's so many triggers along the way to say, hey, 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 work out because, because the way my, my, my room where I did the workout, I purposely do it be, uh, before I hit my, um, my office. So I will see that room before I hit my office as a reminder, hey, you still didn't do your workout because you lay out everything unless you want to clean it up first before going to work, you better finish your workout. So that was very helpful. And second thing, and second thing even with the workout, a lot of people say, what if I don't I change my mind the next day? I purposely chose to work out. If that day I woke up, I suddenly I felt tired. Hey, I'm a mom. I have my kids Sometimes wake up in the, in the middle of the night, come and wake me up. I don't get enough sleep. So next day, I might not want to do a HIIT workout. I want to do a, do a yoga. So I usually have an easy workout and a hardcore HIIT workout. And I'm feeling great. I go do a HIIT. I'm not feeling the greatest. I do a yoga workout. So I have no excuse. So the oh, problem like is no excuses. I like that. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's a really <laughs> great idea. Erin, how about you? Non-negotiable oh, strategy for creating healthy habits. My biggest one is habit stacking. And this is the easiest way, honestly, in my opinion, 
to create good habits is, uh, or yeah, create more good habits is to stack on your already existing good habits. So think about your life. Think about the things that you're already really good at, really can already do well going towards your goals <laughs> um, at um, in your habits. And then think about the things that you need to change. And while you're doing the things you're already good at, add in the other things. So for example, for example, if you're really good at brushing your teeth every day, but you're not really good at working out every day, while you're brushing your teeth every day, do squats or do lunges or do something else like habit stacking. That way, no matter what, your body has to move. Even if it's for two minutes, you have to, you have to. And it's a rule. It's a rule and you have to do it because you do what you say you're going to do, right? We do what we say we're going to do. So um, ha- stack that habit. If you're not good at getting your water in, make it a rule that you have to drink a glass of water before you can get on social media. Hmm. How many cups of water would you have every day? If you had to drink a cup of water before you can log on to Insta or log on to Facebook, how many, right? Make some rules for yourself. Get really creative and kind of, it's a little bit of a blackmail. It's a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit of an irritation, but I learn best and I'm motivated best by irritation. It, it motivates me. I love being irritated. It forces me out of my comfort zone. Motivation is fleeting. Motivation <laughs> comes and goes. It's feelings. Irritation yeah. lasts forever. Like it stays in there. Ugh. That's how diamonds <laughs> are made. That's how diamonds and pearls are made too, y'all. Um, what else? If you're not good at self-improvement, if you're not, if you're not a reader, if you're not whatever, um, while you're cleaning, while you're cooking, while you're driving, put a podcast on or a book or something like that. Stack those habits so that you can still be getting a little bit good at something else while you're doing this well, right? That's, that's my biggest piece is figure out creative ways to stack them on top of each other and kind of trick yourself a little bit until, because eventually it will become a habit. It says what? I think 40 days or something like that if you do it slow enough to create a habit or whatever. But if you do it consistently enough, you'll, you'll like the way it feels. You'll like the way it feels. You'll like the results that you're getting. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. I think it's really, um, and, and you, you say it kind of like it's tricking yourself, but I feel like it's more of like a reward thing. Right. It is. So, you know, it's like, okay, so I get, you know, um, I have to drink a water before I get on social media and yes. social media is my reward. Yes. Yeah you know, yes. so it's, you know, and, and, uh, you know, I have to drink a water, a cup of water before I eat every meal, but the meal yeah. is the reward for doing, yeah. it, you right. know, or, um, I love that habit stacking at first. I, I remember you telling me, this is what you're going to talk about. I'm like, I can't wait to hear about this because I couldn't visualize it until you gave some really specific, right. Um, I know, um, you know, one of our favorite people, uh, Lauren Reidinger did a skincare challenge. And I know that, um, Lauren and Dee talked about, you know, when you're doing your skincare, uh, you do, you do the first layer of treatment then you do 10 squats, Squat. yeah. then you, cause you got to let it sink in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then you do another exactly. layer of treatment and you do 10 squats. Right. Yeah. So it was like habit stacking, like take care of your skin, take care of your body. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. really kind of a fun thing. Um, I like to do a kind of a replacing too. So mm-hmm. rather than get rid of a habit. So like for me, eating late at night was a bad habit and it was a really hard one to stop. I couldn't stop eating late at night. So what I did was I replaced the habit. So instead of having a bag of chips or having ice cream or having a bag of cookies or whatever it was I was eating, um, mostly those were the three things. Um, <laughs> so, um, when I, I mean, I laugh now, but I mean, it was, it was, you know, private shameful eating at the time uh, that nobody knew about, but me. And the way that I got out of that was by replacing it. So I'd have celery with peanut butter and raisins on it. Instead, Mm -hmm. I'd have a grapefruit instead. I'd still eat late at night. I just wouldn't be eating the same thing. I still get to eat it. Like I'm just replacing the habit. So if cocktails are an issue at night, mocktails, (laughs) right? If, um, you know, you're, you're a sweets person, right? RTLS shakes are perfect for people who have the sweet tooth, right? So there's ways to, um, in the meantime, right? When maybe we can't get rid of that bad habit, we're simply replacing it. I think there's another really big piece of the puzzle, Aaron, um, you know, we've talked about and, uh, I'd like you to kind of touch on accountability. Cause I know that that's a big piece of the puzzle. 
um, for everyone who's in. Oh, yeah. yeah. So having, just having accountability, honestly, and just having, having a community, honestly, and it's, and that's what I feel like TLS is and always has been is it's a community and it's so important when you're doing your, your health journey to have other like-minded people linking arms with you going towards the same goal. Like they say that you are like an average of the top five people you spend your time with or whatever. Same thing is, is with your, your, your weight loss journey. If you're spending all of your time with people who are eating like garbage, do you think you're going to be very successful at losing it, staying on track? Probably not. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a constant challenge to an already challenging journey. So set yourself up for success by getting involved in an accountability group with other people who are also going towards the same thing. I'm telling you, I love doing these groups. I do them. All the coaches do them. Um, there's a big one coming up. Melanie, I'll tell you about, but get involved in it because y'all, if you do this right, guess how many times you have to do it once, <laughs> once. do it right. Do it once and do it with fun people that are going to reach you on the entire way the entire way. So yeah, the accountability groups, coaching, teams, challenges, anything like that, put yourself in a position to be pushed and to grow. Um, if you're going to do the journey, you might as well do it and have fun. You might as well do it, maybe win prizes, might as well do it and encourage other people and, and share recipes and all of that stuff. If you're going to do it, if you need to do it, you might as well do it right. Yeah. And together is the best way to do it together. Yes. Together. together. Uh, I know that none of my secret goals turned out. No. Nope. Uh, but when I did things with people, when I did them together, when I had accountability or I had a group or I had a team or I was a part of a challenge, uh, it always worked out. Yeah. So it's a huge, huge part of a strategy of creating healthy habits, especially, you know, you said earlier, Erin, it is like, Hey, you know, if you're not like super self-motivated or a super yeah. self-approver, then this one I would say is non-negotiable. Yeah. Yeah. Non-negotiable. And I also want to say like, you guys, the last 18 months of our lives have been nuts. And you don't have to apologize to anybody for how you have gotten through it. So if you're finding yourself a little extra fluffy or a little extra uncomfortable or a little extra this or that. You, there is no shame attached to that. None of us had a guidebook for how to get through, right? Oh, and, yeah. and we are doing it together and we are going forward. So if this is you, if, if you are, if you had a really hard 18 months and you need to get back your, your tushy back on track, you guys, I want to encourage you to do it, to start, yeah. keep going and finish and then maintain. You can do all those things with TLS, all of them. Absolutely. For sure, woman. Well, you are um, amazing. And I know that one of the strategies that has helped so many people across the globe, I mean, we're going on nearly two decades of just TLS, uh, let alone the you know 40 years of research prior to TLS on why we work. Uh, but we're international, we're global. We, you know, we have a system that's proven to work. <laughs> <laughs> and that is TLS acts. And this is our, um, yeah, adrenal cortisol, thyroid, and stress support formula. Um, let me say that stress support formula. Okay. <laughs> so the, this has become, um, a very important product in my life, uh, and, and has been a big deal. And, and I know that we're all, we're all under a certain level of stress and our body deals with it very differently. And that's why this product specifically is so powerful because it helps your body adapt to, uh, specific to your specific response to stress. Everybody has a different response to stress. Axe, when taken, will again adapt to your body stress response. And so if you're down here, it's gonna just, ooh, you know, bring you, bring you up. And so when people say, well, when should I take Axe? Well, if your typical stress response is high, take it at night so you can oh, have a nice night's sleep. <laughs> and then if your stress response um, is low, take it in the morning because it'll help you uh, manage the day and activity much better. That is uh, my suggestion with Axe. Uh, it is absolutely fabulous. It's two capsules a day. Um, it's a life changer. It also happens to support 
Um, the thyroid, which is an important for many people, important thing um, to weight loss. And so as far as this product goes, when we have a very high level of cortisol, uh, it actually can cause us to gain weight. Cortisol is the stress hormone and it can cause us to gain weight or it can cause the inability to lose it. So it, it really does have a massive impact. Stress has a massive impact on our weight loss journey which is another reason why it is an important product. Um, so I know for uh, many people, you know, this, this is might be one of those missing links for you uh, in regards to, you know, getting over that hump. Um, Aaron, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? My, Tell us your yes. favorite. My favorite is trim tea. It's trim tea. It's trim tea is so near and dear to my heart because it was my very first product or in supplement that I, like that I ever took is the very first thing I took and I took it because of the name and because I committed to, to doing this and to changing my life. Uh, but I liked the name trim tea. I, it's made me sound like I was going to get trim and I liked that. So that's where I started. And it's so near and dear to my heart because it really helped me establish a daily routine. Mm. Like me and trim tea, like me and that little blue packet, you know, like, it helped me establish, it was the first thing I would do every morning. And it helped me establish that daily routine. I did real, I, I, I did not have a lot of money when I started my weight loss journey at all. So spending money on things was really difficult for me, but I'm like, I'm committing to this and I'm, go, I'm going to trust this process and I'm going to do it. So this is the product that was recommended for me to try based on my, um, my results and stuff. And so I, I started, I started using it and I, and I did. So I never, I never, never missed, I never missed dosages of it because, or not dosages. <laughs> I never missed packets of it or dailies with it. Dosages. Um, I, I was very consistent with it because one, I paid for it Two, <laughs> I wanted it to work, you know, and I'm taking care of myself and do what I need to do. Cause I want it to work. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to spend your money on a supplement, that's going to help your weight loss journey. You're going to make sure that you're eating well, so it can supplement your nutrition, which is what a supplement is for guys. A supplement is to supplement the good foods and things that you're giving yourself, not to make it all better. That's not what this does. If you're doing everything you need to do for your body, sci scientifically, you know what I'm saying? With a scientific meal plan, like we have and, and, and research and, and all that stuff, like there's no reason why this would not just speed your process up. And that's what I saw. And that's what I continue to see as I entered um different products into my life as well like i just saw more and more results the cla was perfect for helping body fat or belly fat go away which i never thought would happen and, and it nice. did and, and so but cla also or no i'm sorry TL, trim tea all of them i need all of them all of them um <laughs> trim tea was also really helped with that and there's a lot like i started noticing it's funny because I, I started on it because of the name of it and what i was i was told it would help with um, but what I started finding is that um, as I was continuing on my weight loss journey, I had less cravings than I ever had before when I'd started with journeys. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have all those nights where I wanted to like lose my mind and eat the floorboards. I didn't have all those sugar cravings where I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to end up on the news if I don't get some sugar. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have all that. And that was rare for me. Very mm -hmm. rare for me. I had a lot more energy and I, that, that was also rare for me. I felt better. Um, I slept better. I noticed that immediately I started sleeping better. My husband told me, um, like I was, I was sleeping a lot like sounder and that I wasn't snoring as much. I'm like, what in the world? So I just started noticing these things and then awesome stuff happened like fat loss, not weight loss, fat loss, fat loss. For sure composition changes in your body, fat loss. Um, I wasn't as bloated also. And that, that's another huge thing. Like when, if you deal with bloat all the time or the bubble guts and stuff like that, it's miserable, miserable. And constantly uh, people asking you if you're pregnant. <laughs> Trim tea was wonderful for helping with that as well with me. Um, and then I also was noticing big improvements with my mood too. Like yeah. my, like, like how I felt, I just felt good. You know, I just felt good. And the For only sure. thing I changed was this and eating better. Yes. <laughs> so good. 
I, I do feel like I need to say um, that that is a that is all of those benefits are definitely a combination of you incorporating the TLS lifestyle for sure um, with trim tea. So, yes. um, you know, it is a, a combination, you guys, to have, you know, all the things that Aaron is talking about it is not going to necessarily happen with just one product. It For happened sure. because she incorporated all of the pillars of TLS and including the, the menu plan, including incorporating movement, right, which just started with, you know, like I remember you telling me just, you know, parking a little further away from the grocery store entry and walking, you know, a little further, right. Little and, further, and yeah. yeah, just a little further than usual, instead of looking for the closest spot. Right. And so, you know, I just want to uh, let everybody know that those benefits are really typical with the lifestyle, the lifestyle for yeah. sure. Um, definitely. And, you know, trim tea is, is, you know, with its two simple ingredients, um, mm -hmm. the, the main one being the African mango seed extract, which is uh, our go trim, um, patented ingredient is, is really powerful for, and, and can do a lot of what Aaron was talking about, you know, yeah. breaking down fat, which is called lipolysis. So it, it does do a lot of what Aaron talked about, but yeah. to have such um, amazing benefits does happen with the lifestyle change. Um, and I did bring up, I just want to mention, I did bring up TLS slim.com. If you're, if you've never been a part of TLS, if you're learning about it for the very first time today, I want, I, I want you to make sure that you get the site from the person who invited you here. Okay. Because that person has a TLS website and we want to make sure that they're helping you with TLS and you're utilizing their website. So don't Absolutely. open it up in a new browser, make sure you get the address. Uh, the URL from the person who invited you here so that you can get your TLS journey started um, with that. Uh, and, and so Zan, really quickly, what do we have um, as far as uh, a strategy to help us create healthy habits with them, especially our eating? Yes. So, you know, when it comes to healthy habit, I think a lot of people will agree that craving carbs is definitely a huge part and always not feeling full. You know, people eat and eat and eat. And before they know it, they overate and they feel lousy. How many people overate and say, why did I eat that last plate? I shouldn't have, right? And they blame on their willpower. But the truth is we know for a fact right now that weight loss is not because you have no willpower or low willpower. It's simply because of the hormonal imbalance. In this case, I would say core, TLS core is something that I think everyone should start, like, especially with the TLS journey to start with that. Especially if you always notice you're craving for carb, you're always eating and eating and you cannot, you cannot stop, even though consciously you, you want to, but you just couldn't stop basically. And because this particular product has I mean, four amazing ingredients. One of the ingredients is leptocor. And simply put, it does help you, your leptin, which is the hormone to that release to let you know you're full. And when people who are overweight, they tend to have what we call a leptin resistant, where that hormone does, it, it doesn't get to your brain to tell you you're full. So that's why you will eat and eat and eat. And this particular product has the leptocor, which helps your leptin to be sensitive. So you will eat maybe about 80% and your body's like, I have enough. I'm satisfied. I can put my, my fork down. And that this product works hand in hand with trim tea because they both are very good in terms of helping with leptin sensitivity. And you said, and how are they different? They're different as one is kind of telling you in your brain, okay, it's enough. One is going to tell you from the gut. So when they work together, you are in a, such a great shape, right? Because the hardest part of any weight loss journey is the starting point. So you, you, you want that small win. And if your hunger was where you felt at loss, this is what is needed to help you propel forward. And on top of that, it's also great because it uh, helped to inhibit the excess carbohydrate so that prevent them to store as fat. And when your body is not storing extra carbohydrate as fat, that means your body has to utilize your own fat to burn, to give you energy. That means you are burning fat. When people think of core, it is the core product. It is truly of all the product we have. It's a starting point. And for those people who want to start the healthy journey, this will be the product that I think everyone should start with. Yeah, definitely. And again, for our sweet tooths um, and people who, you know, have the uh, meal skipping or because meal skipping is one of those 
um, habits that don't serve us. Uh, and one of the habits that does serve us is to make sure that we're eating consistently and our shakes are so incredible, incredibly our TLS cookies and cream. Ooh, ooh, love this so much. Whenever I'm feeling like that ice cream or that cookie craving comes on, cause I still get cravings once in a while. It's rare, but when I do, I've got a, I've got a shake right next, you know, Bamski, just yep. oh, so good. So it's again, just really simple strategies to building these healthy habits. And um, Aaron, you have any uh, last words for us before we wrap up? I have a couple announcements before we um, leave for the night. So maybe I'll have you end um, with us here, actually, because I want yeah, I want to end on some powerhouse from Aaron here. So um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and share uh, my screen again, because I always like to let you guys know when our next uh, Zoom is. And it's coming up uh, Wednesday, October 6th, always the first Wednesday of every month. We're going to be talking about increasing your energy naturally. I think this is such a common complaint, right? So Zan is I just don't have enough energy, right? Enough energy to make better choices, enough energy to work out, enough energy to get through the day. Um, so we're definitely going to be honing in on this topic here with Mr. Dennis Franks, uh, former NFL player, uh, you know, really a, a spearhead in our TLS program, been um, a part of it since its inception. So we're just, and he is Mr. Energy. So who better to talk about energy than our TLS trio? <laughs> I love it. Um, and speaking about accountability, speaking about groups and challenges, we happen to have one coming up and it's called the 7828, baby. I'm so excited about this. I'm mildly psychic. I know what you're thinking. What does 7828 stand for? And I will tell you, hold on a second. I do want to let you know it's open to US, Canada, Australia, and UK. Woo -woo. It's going to be fun. We're international. Um, it's about creating positive momentum. It's about support. It's about community. It's, it's about following a proven system. And our official start date market calendar is September 20th. But you do need to RSVP by September 13th. I'm getting to it, you guys. 7, 8, 28. Seven days of detox. Eight weeks of commitment. 28 workouts in that time frame. Um, which you uh, self-direct because we have all ages, we have all abilities, we have, um, we don't want to set for something people feel they can't do. So this is about making sure that you get your 28 workouts in, in this time frame. Okay. Uh, purchase is required to participate. Uh, orders from August 24th to September 13th are going to count. We have a jumpstart kit in every single one of these markets. It includes your detox. So you're good to go for your seven days of detox. It includes um, core for most countries or isochrome if you're in Australia, which also helps um, with that blood sugar managing. So you guys, we have a kit for you. Just make sure you get it. Once you place your order, you can join our private Facebook group for this challenge specifically. This is where we're going to support you. This is where Sozian and I, other TLS trainers, other TLS coaches are going to be cheering you on educating you, um, taking the guesswork out of it. You do have to answer the admittance questions to be admitted. And one of them is your order number. Okay. So be prepared after you place your order to come join us. So Zan and I are doing an overview of TLS as a program and this challenge tomorrow night and September 8th at 8 p.m. So you're welcome to join us for that, especially if you're brand new here um, and you're kind of like, well, this has been such a great webinar. Aaron's amazing. I want to know what TLS is all about. Check it out tomorrow night or September 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, get the link from the person when you invited you and we will get you set up for the 7828, baby. It's going to be awesome. Um, so Aaron, close us out, girl. Give us some words of wisdom as you always do. Oh, goodness. Okay, guys, I just want to encourage all of you. If you're watching this right now, if you can see our faces, we are coming at you from a place of absolute love. And we want everybody out there in the world to, to find what we have found. And that is freedom with our nutrition and with our, our journeys, right? We, I, we want that for you. We want that for you. And I want you, I want to encourage you to show up for yourself to show up for yourself. This, this just challenge is going to be incredible. If this is something that you, that, you know, as Melanie's talking about that, you're like, this would be really good. I'm telling you right now, this would be really good. This would be really good because it will get you started. 
and it will keep you going. And your coach isn't going to let you fall off the rails. She's, they're going to hold you accountable. They're going to help you. The program is amazing. The supplements are amazing. The people are wonderful. If you have goals with your weight, with your health, with your life, give it a try. Show up for yourself. Make a decision. If you are ready to do it one more time, if you are ready to do it with us, what if this time you don't give up? What if this time when you start, you actually went to the end of your journey? to the sweet maintenance mode, baby. I hit my goal weight last week. I cannot tell you guys how good that feels because I never imagined I could ever do it. So if you're sitting there with the mountain in front of you, I want to tell you to your faces right now, you can do it. I know I've done it. This program's amazing. It can help you. These people are amazing. Let us help and show up for yourself. Show up for yourself. You'll never regret it. I promise you'll never regret it. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Erin. You um, are amazing. I just uh, love you and your heart and your wisdom that you share with everybody. Um, so Zan, my, my partner, my um, just couldn't, couldn't do any of this without you. I so appreciate your time as always. Um, everybody on the line. Thank you so much for being here. Facebook, thank you so much for joining us. You guys share this with a friend who needs some inspiration. Um, sharing is caring, baby. And that's what we do. So uh, yes. everyone have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>